You got Murray State, they're the two seed. They've been playing well as of late. They've won eight of their last oh, eleven. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Belmont won the first two games of the series. They took the three. First pitch and run away. Nasty pitch, call strike three. Goes away, and this could be two. Over to second, Henderson three late throw. It is in time for the 4 6 3. That is off the pitcher go. He picks it up, doesn't have a play at first. Dribbles the runner, throw by Gardner, it's not in time. 2-1, blasted deep to center field. Slunder's on the move and Slunder can't get it. Heading to third and sliding in safely. It puts Moorhead State in front, 2-0. You don't allow a pitcher to get comfortable to play. Perkins swings at the first pitch and he has himself at least a single, he's gonna hustle to second and he lunges in safely. It's a leadoff double for Perkins. Right back to Jackson since 2016. That's called strike three, so Hintzer goes down looking. He's sitting dead red right now. He swings and he sends a flare to shallow center field. Who will come up with it? Track down by Jordan Cozart. Big play by the second baseman. Cozart jumps on the first pitch. It's a base hit to left field. Huddleston will get waved home. He will score as he slides in safely on the RBI single from Cozart. The 2-0 count. Racers will make a change. Pennington is a redshirt freshman from Purpose Grove, Tennessee. What a clutch hit that was. Here's a bunt. It's a good one. Charging in. Bloomer play at the plate. Not in time. It's dropped by Crump. Another run scores for Moorhead State. Up by Pennington, he'll sling it to first and it's in foul territory in right field. Feltner will score. Hammers this one to center field. Priest will size it up, he's going back and this ball is gone. Two run blast by Cozart. It kept carrying and carrying himself home run number 16 this season. You get so much of the best of this pitch by Pennington that time. His job is to get his shot down in a year. Two punch outs of left just left. Chopper, left side, goes across his body and it's past the first baseman, Feltner, hustling to second base at Slunder. It'll be an infield single for Bloomer. And Murray State has cut it to a one-run lead. It's Jordan Cozart who crushed a two-run home run last time he was up to straightaway center field. And he crushes it to left field. He's done it again. A two-run shot, and Murray State has their first lead in the ball game. up in the zone. That's what I'm talking about. Call strike three. Murray State will make a change and they will go to their redshirt junior, Connor Holden out of Louisville, Kentucky. Nope, back door. Call strike three. Two outs, bases loaded. And did it hit him? It did. The first pitch hits him and we're tied at six. We are going to extra innings in Jackson, Tennessee. We are currently in a weather delay. Day two starts off in an interesting way as we pick up from where we left off last night. Ball strike three, filthy pitch, a strikeout. Here comes the one two. Line to center field and Moorhead State will take a seven six lead. This is the best outing I have ever seen live. Calling baseball now for a while, Graham. I have never seen a guy strike out. Ten guys in the 11 outs he's got coming out of the pen, let alone a 14 out of the game. Come on, Brock! Come on, Brock! There's Brock Anderson and he drives one deep to right center field. Anderson goes deep to tie it at seven. Drops a ball out. Excellent ball picked up by Bob. He turns and fires it again.
goes to right field. Dwayne Tuttle, he stumbles. He gets back up and he's going to score. And Murray State wins. Are you kidding me? The Racers walk it off in an unreal fashion in the bottom of the 13th. Oh, we're still playing one, two, three. Ryan!